All right, we're here in the wood aisle. What is that? What is that? Oh, two spinny things. It's missing the third spinny thing. We're here, we're here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, oh little crates. They're cute. Dollar nine each. Uh, I just got some of those from the free estate sale that I went to a couple weeks ago. So I don't need them. I'm good with them for my booth. I just freshened up my booth yesterday. I went there. It was a mess. It was a cross, wooden cross, knife set. Don't know that signature. <sighs> no, these are just regular, ordinary knives in there. Oh, cute wooden angel. Whoop, she's stuck to something. She's cute. There's certain things I will get that are Christmas for my booth and certain things that I won't. Oh, look at the sailboat bookends. They were cute. The abacus for 209 This is a Melissa and Doug abacus. And there's a farm fresh pick your own pumpkins. Little sign. Some bunnies. Peacocks are still here for that 809 each. Uh, let's see, a couple trays. Lap tray. They put some figurines over here where the wood is. They don't belong. And let's see what else we could find over here. Picture frame. That mysterious green thing is still here. Oh, this is cool. Look at the bears with the fish in their mouth. They're cool. I think these are resin. They're not wood. Five oh nine. That's a great price. I might get those. Let's see what condition they're in. I gotta check the tail of the fish and the head of the fish and make sure it's still there. But that's really nice for five oh nine. All right, we gotta figure out where to put these. I think I'm getting these. These are neat coasters. Or some kind of composite material. In the box. <laughs> Help wanted sea mom. That's pretty cute. There's a little harp seal. And uh, some containers. Don't know what these are. Don't know what these are. They extend for some reason. They're made out of bamboo. Don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments. Oh, here's a cute little framed Pomeranian picture. Nice frame. See. Oh, one of these little booster seats. Very cute booster seat. That'd be nice to paint. Oh, let's see what else is over here. Um, clipboard. Another knife rack. One of these. These are always broken when I see them. He's not bad. He's not great, but he's not bad. Um, he was re-glued. They do, or maybe that's the original glue. He doesn't look bad. We'll put him in for now. And let's see what else we have. There you go. Look at this. <laughs> that's cute. I like that. Somebody made that. That's a homemade jobber. Don't fall. 309 for that. I like that. I might get that and put that in the cart. And look at the kitty cat toilet paper holder. Isn't that cool? He's awesome. All right, that is it for the wood. All right, we're here in toys. And somebody did open up the robot kit, so I guarantee... Oh, there's like... Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get this. I'm glad I didn't get this last week. Not good. There'll be more. There'll be more, Seth. What is this? Collection. Colors of what? No idea what that is. What is that? Makeup? Let's see what that is. I'm not sure. It might be something to do with makeup. Uh, in the driver's seat, what is this? Tech made easy. Learn to build and code a backup sensor for a for a seat. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I'll check that out. Worst case scenario, survivor game. That'd be cool to use those cards for my channel. Uh, where's the price on this? Two oh nine. We'll think about that. Put that in there for now. Wow! Look at the size of that fire truck. 
We have a lump of toys here, bag of toys. Not interested in that unless I see something really good in it. Star Wars, another build R2-D2. Okay, we'll get that. And uh, I don't see anything else good here. So we're gonna move on to the plush. Hold on, close your eyes if you get queasy. All right. And uh, not much here. We got a sock monkey. We have this cute little kitty cat that does something. It's got an on off switch. Ooh, here's a frog book. That's interesting. Minnesota Fats Billiards Table Cover. $6.99? Don't think so. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this is for. Don't want to know what this is for. It's a pillow fort. No idea. No idea what goes in there. Don't want to know. We're just going to leave that here. Um, let's see what else. No, we have a big palm tree here. Build a bears that aren't bears. Um, unicorn. Little ride on toys. Oh, there's people coming up the other side. Hold on. There's a cute little Minecraft piggy for Paul. Paul, if you're watching this. Cute little Minecraft piggy. This is from Blue's Clues. There's a Dachund. Dachshund. Um, here is a Mickey Mouse with no shirt on. Here is a naked Minnie. She doesn't have clothes either. There's a cute little unicorn pony and what else do we have some cabbage patch dolls we'll check them out in one second and uh that looks to be about it just wanted to share these with you they're very pretty they're 509 each metal sculpture and burlap those are kind of pretty i like those i'm not gonna lie but there you go here are the purses. Some funky ones today. A little mini backpack. That's kind of cute with the sequins and the fringe on it. Um, let's see what else we have. That is, oh, is that a Juicy Couture? All right, pick that up. I might get that for a friend of mine. She just loves Juicy Couture, so we'll put that in the back in the cart for now. Here is, oh, that's a very hippie looking bag. I like that. 509 for that. That's very cute. Um, that's very cute. I've seen a lot of neat stuff. This is a cool bag. It's got two zippers on the front. I like that too. I don't know if there's a price tag on it. Um, the sack. There's some back there with butterflies. I'm going to take a look at these and see what I can find. It's hard to look through these with one hand when I have the camera on. So, is this a Vera or a Vera? No, this is a Vera wannabe, I think. Okay. Check them out. All right, now we're in the mishmash. Right off the bat, we have some Brenda Har. Whole bin of Brenda Har. Brenda Har. Bunch of Brenda Har up top. It's overpowering the side, going to the toy side. Let's see if we can find anything. Oh, look at these guys. Look at these cute little reindeer. They're adorable. I like those. Let's see what we can find in here. I'm just going to glance. I'm not going to go crazy today looking at this stuff. It is pretty packed, though. And we'll see if there's anything worth showing you here. Sometimes I'm afraid to dig in here. Page Protege. Tic Tac Toe. I don't know what those twisty things are for. Maybe for your hair, I'm not sure. Or maybe for keeping things, keeping things shut. Who knows? There's a candle. And <clears throat> more of these lanyards. They're overpowering everything. They're just spilling out all over the place. There's a t-shirt with, what did they put? What the heck is that? Pig nose. Let's see who's on this t-shirt. This is, uh, oh, it's a little Tupac shirt. It's very small. 
all eyes on me. That's a very small shirt. Baby Bunting. Oh, that's cute. By Baby Bunting. So just a page from an old book. You can see the stitches here going up the side. It's a very old illustration. I'll put it on the backer board. It's cute though. And it's all, I don't know. I'll think about it. Maybe I could do something with that. I'm trying to fit it in the cart here. This is a something with rainbow colors. Why is it so heavy? Oh, maybe it's a shower curtain. Okay, it's probably a shower curtain. More Brenda Har. Brenda Har everywhere. My goodness, Brenda. You're spread out all over the place. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Set it to all. Give us a like. Leave a comment below. And always pin to the first comment right under the video is a link to a playlist of all my Thrift With Me videos. Please check it out. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff I found, so um, I've been doing this for over a year now, so there's a good amount of videos if you want to binge watch and go through. So, check it out. This is marble. That's for, maybe for toothbrushes? I'm not sure. I don't need it. I like the texture on it, though. I'm not going to mess with it. More, more Brenda Har binders. Oh, what is this? peach bath bomb thingy some stationery and what is this paper printer paper all right i think that's it here more brenda har that's it over here all right now we're here in the art aisle there's some canvases some blank canvases let's see how much these are 409 each if they were 209 each i would have gotten them still probably a, a decent price i'm guessing that's pretty with the butterfly. Uh, what is this? This is kind of cool. Uh, it's not really signed. Okay. Concepts in the evolution of a solar mass star. How about that? Oh, and here's something else. Very, very cool. Kind of reminds me of the color wheel. Uh, let's see. Oh, the quilter's still here. The one quilter. <sighs> 609. No. Uh, some kind of butterfly back here. No, it's just a black and white butterfly. Okay. Let's see what's on this bathtub, clawfoot bathtub. That's cute, too. That's neat. It's got little three dimensional dolphins. It's made out of acrylic. We have a zebra down there. Those prints are still here. Here's a little crocheted thing. It says, I am the vine, you are the branches. It's kind of slipped down a bit, though. Still just like, what is this? What is this? Aubrey Beardsley book plate, 1897. Through this is known as Aubrey Beardsley's book plate. It was allegedly not used by him. Oh. That's interesting. If it wasn't used by him, 409 for this pottery barn outlet. I don't know if that's pre-made or somebody actually put that together to make a shadow box. I guess they put it together because it says discover and there's a little symbol here. One, one, I can't read it. Um, that's definitely an interesting illustration. All right, we got butterflies. I think this is one of the things, if you stare at it, you'll see something through it. Those were popular a while back. And this picture, name Gettys. Okay. That's intriguing me. That's very intriguing. I don't know if that came from a book or not. I'm going to check that out. And then we just have some more bigger art here that we're not going to show. So a couple things. All right. All right, here's the fabric. Um, wiped out of pillows. Oh, there's the cycles of the moon on a pillow. That's cool. I'm not seeing much for fabric. Oh, here's a cute little um, uh, blanket. Looks like a baby blanket. They put orange balls, balls, balls on it. That's cute. I don't know if I'd want to... I don't know if anybody would be interested in it with those Brian, colors. Brian. But I like the, the ball front. You know what? I'll throw it in the cart. 
it doesn't hurt throw it in the cart I'll think about it later some rugs and uh, yeah not much here is turkey there's a turkey let's see who makes this oh it's got tassels that are covered in plastic $2.99 for this and there's no tag pretty cool pretty cool all right, I'm going to go to the other side. There's somebody there looking right now. I'm trying to stall. Oh, what is this? Maybe it's a bed skirt or they used to make these for the, ch the rocking chairs too with the ruffles. I'm not sure. Okay, we're done with this part. Check it out. Juicy Couture fabric. Who would have thought? That's pretty cool. All right. I'm just... Yes. Yes, it is. This looks like a car or a fire truck or something. I'm not sure. All right, not much to look at it this side, guys. A couple pillows, some fabric, some sheets, bags of fabric, and that's about it. Yep, I bought it. <laughs> He's in there. Can't miss him. <laughs> He's gorgeous. All right, guys, I'll be back. Well, check out this guy, this big old tiger. I don't see a price tag on him. So, huh? It's on the top? Okay, I'm going to check it out. Thank you. He's beautiful. Huge um, plaster chalkware. I just wanted to show him to you guys. He's gorgeous. Here's a Dickens Village uh, Scrooge. It's supposed to light up. Um, I don't think the batteries are in it, though. It's only 309 but I don't think anybody's going to want to get this from my booth. I don't want to be... Oh, there's something missing from the top, too. Probably a little bag of money. But he's cool. Different. So yes, as the lady said, the cat is out of the bag. I did put the giant tiger in my cart. So um, we're going to look here at my favorite section and see what's here. Patriotic Piggy still here. Kitchen Help Wanted is here. That's kind of cute. Ceramic. Le Bain du Paris. Okay, it's your little soap dispenser. And these little candle holders, candlestick holders. This is a cute little ashtray. I like this. And it's got all the stones encrusted around it. I don't know. Is that Grand Canyon? That's kind of pretty. I like that. My car is just out of control. <laughs> out of control right now. Um, we have a Santa cookie jar. Uh, is this a cordon blue as well? I don't know. They put the sticker over it. We'll see. We'll see if it is or not. No, it is not. Okay. So we'll leave these barriers. This looks like a lens from an old car. The red glass, I'm guessing. Um, or maybe a metal bar goes across there or something. But it is, it's really, I don't know. It looks like it's something for a car to me. Little Jack Horner sitting in the corner. We got him, we got some vases back there. Got Pampered Chef. Um, cookie thingy for $6.09. Let's see what else we have here. Some little birds. A straw holder. That's kind of cute. Straw container. Those are made to look real. How much are you? $5.09. Okay, that'll stay. What's this here? Kind of goblet, but they painted it black. Uh, there's a wolf box for doggy treats. Nice basket down there. This is quite interesting. It's just a looks like a project piece. A mug. We've got a Santa laying down there and some patriotic bears. It's a nice fake plant. Milk bone dog biscuit. Bucket thingy, a little cupcake. Let's see what's here on this part. We have an apple and a pear. I like this. This is cool, but I can't really do anything with it. And oh, those are nice. No lids to them, but they're pretty. They have roosters on them. Oh, this thing is still here. I'm surprised. Okay, it's a spoon rest, but the leaves are chipped on it. So we're going to pass by that. That's kind of cute. And 
<laughs> that's still here. I'm surprised nobody picked that up. They brought it over here. And let's see what else we have. Well, doggy's got a broken ear. And some more mason jars. We have some more figurines here. Up here. She's cute. She looks like a little bird bath. And uh, that's it for this side, it looks like. Yep, all right, we're gonna look at the other side. Okay, here we are on the opposite side. I'm moving my card Oh, look at this little itty bitty mason jar. How cute. This is nice, the napkin holder. It's very thick and heavy. Oh, it's got something written on it. Um, I cannot tell what that says right now. But I'm sure. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. I like that. It's raspberries, though. And it's good if you had like more matching stuff. These are cool. These are bottles covered in chicken wire. Aren't they neat? 509 for the smaller one. There's those tall jars again, like the green ones they had. Um, this I think might be for hairpins, not a shaker. I think I was wrong before. This, no, maybe it is a shaker. Usually the hairpins ones are spread out a little bit more. I don't know what that is, but I don't think anybody's going to be interested. That's a cute little 70s looking bell. This is neat, this glass here. This vase, but it's very light. Pretty color though. 309 for that. Okay. Neat texture. And we'll see what else is over here. Pioneer Woman thing is still here. Plaid salt and pepper shakers. Applejack shot glass. Some more plates. Oh, is that a shaker? It looks like it might be a shaker. Let's go past here. Wow, look at that wine glass. And this has the etchings of, oh, it looks like San Francisco Bay. That's kind of pretty, I like that. And then you have your typical vases here. Some milk glass. 309 for that. Not very interesting. We're made with love. Those jars are cool with the rope handles on them. Great if you craft with stuff. Really, really great. I didn't see any mugs. I have a set of those I put in my booth yesterday, and now there's another straggler. That's okay. I don't need it. And that looks like it for the knickknack aisle. That's about it. This is pretty cool. It's made to look like a shell, but it's a, a glass. Springs global. 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 That's cool. I could fool you if it was back ways out like that. You'd think it was a cut shell. Well, pumpkins made with little bony fingers all around them. I'm not that crazy about them. This is a cute little salt and pepper set. They're 89 cents each. They're cute. They're very cute. I don't really need them, though. Maybe I'll get them if I decide to later. We'll see. All right, we're here in the metal aisle. There's a cute little cookie jar here. A little spongeware top on it. Uh, St. Nicholas Square Ornament Frames. They're kind of cute. How much are those? 209 That's not bad, but don't need them. Here's a ornament holder. Pier 1 Imports. We have some molds, faux copper molds, travel mugs. We have a bar shaker right there. Uh, some typical racks and such. These are cute. What are these made out of? Are they ceramic? They are ceramic. 89 cents each. But they have some scratching on them. Toilet paper uh, or towel or toilet paper holder. I'm not sure. There's some wood mixed in here too with everything. That you unfold and you put votive candles in. You rest the little containers in it. Oh, that's kind of pretty, whatever that is. I don't want to dig it out. <laughs> Usually you dig one thing out and 10 million things come with it. Oh, look at that little sugar and pitcher. 
There's an old chopper back there. The old chopper. Cute. And cupcake pans. This is cute little patriotic Arlington. 509 for that. For the set of three in the holder. A little chicken wire basket. It's a butterfly tin. It's kind of cute. Um, tins take up a lot of room at my house, so until I get the other tins out of my house, I'm not getting any more. This is Mallorca coat of arms. Let's see how much they're looking for for this. 409 for that. It's pretty though. Right? It's got the little removable sword on it or the whatever it's called. That's neat. I like that. Oh, a lot of racks and such. Mm. A cu ribbon cutter. Oh, that's cute for I guess for little ornaments, a little tree. Galvanized tree. 209 for that. That's for really small ornaments though for minis. It's neat though, if you want to showcase the little ones. It's a burner. It's a little, probably for your wall. Uh, I don't know, this looks religious to me. It's a covered dish, but the cover is very small. Sorry. Uh, it's just got a maker number on it. I don't know, that's very different. Microsoft Office. We got a candlestick holder. We got some fish hooks. Fish hooks, get it? <laughs> fish hooks. We got two fish hooks. Those will stay. I don't really have any fish buyers. I do sell the stuff on my channel too. Another great reason to subscribe. Um, I sell a variety of items and jewelry and all sorts of stuff. You go back and check out my old videos and see the kind of stuff I sell. I do sell a lot of the stuff that I get from here as well at a variety sale or vintage sale so check me out pop in say hi say hi in the chat when we go live um you can all you know also comment under a video that's a pre-recorded video give the channel a look i have different playlists on my channel and uh you can see the kind of content i have okay that's it over here for the metal let's check out the mugs here we are in the mugs and glasses trying to see if there's anything good here i haven't found any mugs today so um, hold on. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, those are cool. They look like they're Kahlua ones. Are they? They have the Kahlua K on them. They're pretty neat. 50th anniversary glasses. Very hard sell. Mm, I think that's a Spider-Man mug. I'm not going to mess with it. They probably won five bucks for it. These tall glasses with the leaves. Blue glasses. Shorter ones to match. High ball and low ball. Let's see what's down here. Oh, that looks that looks vintage, that one here. Let's check it out. Nope, it's not marked. That looks very 70s. That's pretty cool. Okay. And I'm not seeing much as far as mugs goes today, which is very strange because usually I find something interesting to show you. I'm putting the decorations up. Let's outside. see. What do we have here? Nothing here either. Very strange. <laughs> have you got your uh, Christmas stuff up here? I usually find one. I got my tree up, but it's not decorated. You're about okay. to get hugged. What are you going to decorate? And I don't see anything else over here. So we're going to move on. It's getting pretty crowded in this aisle. So let me go. So we're in the plates and such plates, dishes, and uh, was pretty wisterias. Those are nice. They are 709. Those are pretty old. Scallion, I think that? No, it's, that's a flower bulb. Okay, sorry. Those are plastic. We'll look around here and see what we got. Um... That looks like fused glass down there. Pretty bright colors. And cup and saucer set here. That's nice. 
Uh, can't make that up. Nortaki, I think it says. It's got roses on it. These are Pioneer Woman. I think they're berry bowls. They're pretty. They are 309 for one, two, three, four, five of them. Don't need them. The kind of run of the mill stuff does not go good for me, so I don't pick up the stuff unless I have somebody specifically wanting something. What are these? More Christmas tree themed plates. What is this? Oh, it's a, it's a snowman dish. Not very good quality. And well, that's a cool piece of pottery. That's cute. I wish they were mushrooms. West for West Elm. Ah, but I'm not gonna get it. Not interesting enough for me in case I get stuck with it. Saturday e Saturday evening post glasses. Those I think are glass too, the pa I mean um plastic too, the paisley ones. And I'll go down here. There's some dishes sticking out, stopping me from moving. And oh, there's a hit one. Let's see. Great if somebody does projects with them. This piece is still here. I see somebody looked at it and now it's got like stuff on it and it was repaired. That's why I didn't get it last week. See the chip in it? So that stays here. Uh, up. One by one, the raccoons steal my sanity and I'd rather be watching Criminal Minds. There's another little cute scene snow scene mug with birds on it the butter dish two of mine for the butter dish i gotta sell the ones i have already and i'm still looking for a wider butter dish uh base for this cow that i got i have the top but i don't have the bottom piece and uh that's it for here so let's move on so this I show you guys it's a poinsettia and ribbons 16 ounce porcelain holiday sleigh gravy boat in its original box for 309 that's kind of cute and this is like the tin stuff and everything that's nice with the utensil set that's a cool set there's some teapots but they have damage to them and pots and pans and all that good stuff over here Here's some pretty horses. I think they're Briar. They have a marking on the leg, on the inside of the leg. They're dollar nine each, but uh, I don't have anybody to get horses for, so they are staying here. Pretty cool, though. All right, we're here in the miscellaneous slash Christmas aisle. Dollar uh, nine for Santa here. And we have some more stockings and elf. Oh, this is vintage ribbon right here. That's old. A gourd pumpkin thingy, some bears, holiday mug, berry everything. We have some balls, 309, some uh, ribbons up there, snowman candle holder, more wreaths. This is a vintage inspired box. There's something in there, and I can't really, I can't open it so. It'll be a mystery. Some kind of tapestry thing. Holidays. Our typical wreaths that are down here. This is all vintage sewing stuff. More balls, balls, balls. We have a nice little home style shortbread. Whoop. Oh, there we go. Home style shortbread cookie tin. Um, like I said, I have to get rid of my other ones before I can get more tins. And uh, another stocking, Christmas ornaments, Christmas snoozer stocking hanger, more stockings. Oh, creepy doll! Creepy doll. Ooh, I don't know if she's a remake, it's probably a remake. Let me check her out. She's interesting. She's interesting. Let's see what she's all about. Oh, a little pumpkin guy. He's cute. And then we have this hand-painted Santa back there. And we have a reindeer. We have this Noel box with holly. Oh, here's another one that's meant to look old. Oh, a little 
we'll check them out and see who makes them. We'll give them a shot and see what they're all about. They make great. Oh, that's clay. Is that clay? That's neat. All right. I don't know what kind of clay, so I don't know if you have to bake it or not. And some clips. A little box for cards. Some baskets. Wrapping paper. Oh, there's vintage wrapping paper right there. That right there. Here's a Halloween tablecloth. Here's a lavender herb kit. Well, that's nice. Which is that? 309. That's not bad. But I don't think I'm going to risk getting it. Let's see. We have a white pumpkin canister. What is this? This is a little Christmas countdown advent fireplace. Another tin. Um, let's see. Puzzle piece looking things. I don't know what they're for. Down here, they're 209. More tins. Maybe I'll get a couple tins. I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. Glass eggs. One is broken. Eat for Easter. Just That's a shame. One is broken. Uh, 12 heart glass ornaments. Empty. So, that was great. Uh, this great nutcracker, but his his sword part is missing, but he's really nicely done. It looks like rabbit fur, so I wouldn't get it anyway, but uh, he's got a cool design to him. He was originally, looks like $14 somewhere, home goods or something, but he's neat. There's a bear stocking holder in its box and another stocking holder in its box. And then we have a little unicorn right there. More stockings. Better to have loved and lost than to have spent your life with a psycho. Oh, that is funny. I'll have to get that. I can't leave that here. That's pretty funny. Tumbleweed pottery. They always have good sayings. And, all right, I'm going to pick up a couple of these tins. And then uh, I'm going to be out of this aisle. All right. This is cute. It's Squeaky the dog. It's an interactive pet, but I'm not going to get it. I'll leave it for somebody to get for their kid. It's only $209, plus I would get the discount, but it's going to stay. Just a couple things I missed over here. This adorable little guy, but he doesn't have a price. He's a wine cork mouse ornament. He's so cute. Um, there's this bird, but I'm not... That's plastic. I'll get it. Um, very cute bird skeleton from Halloween. Not gonna get it. Um, look at this, look at this witch with her angry owl. Look at all the stuff on her face. How cute. I don't know. I might get her. She's got real hair. And this onyx bull. Isn't he cool? I'm not gonna get him though. They, these things don't really sell well for me. So, good deal though. 25% off two and on. But I think I'm gonna get her. She's just so insanely crazy. I think I'm going to take her white dots and make them gray so they don't stand out so much. Like, her teeth wouldn't be white. They would be yellow. There's a little chip in the front, but she's just really cute. She's so bizarre. I have to I have to give her a home. So, we're going to get her. Alright, I think I'm going to put her back. But I think I'm going to get this one to be a creepy doll. She's got that vintage outfit on, so I think she'll be great. She's got a little cameo around her neck. Um, she is signed by an artist on the back, but she's from the 90s, but she's really cool. Uh, she's already got messed up hair and everything. So I think I'm going to get her for a creepy doll project, haunted doll kind of thing. So she's going to stay and I think she's going to go. Because I'm not, I don't know, the paint's all bled onto the porcelain here. So I think, I'm think I'm going to try her. We'll see. It might change my mind later. And here are two more of those weird shadow box things. They're pretty funky, but I don't know what I'd do with them. Probably somebody's project or how they decorated a room of their house. Look at him. He's bizarre. Um, let's see if these are the same price, too. Yeah, they're 409 each. I mean, just the Pottery Barn shadow boxes are worth it to get, but I don't know. I don't want to be stuck with them. But they're just pretty peculiar. Pretty peculiar. But I like weird. So they're kind of neat. 
kind of neat. All right. So here's another. They, there was a couple of them, like five or six of them, these things. Um, this one says, "Twas taught me many years ago, my great Auntie Daisy. Uh, the bird's upside down. I don't like that one as much, but I was thinking of getting this vintage one with the rabbits. I don't know why. It's just I'm drawn to it. It's just one of those things. So I think I'm going to still get this one. Here's an old baby doll. She'd be good for a creepy doll. Her hair's been chopped. Uh, I'll see who makes her. I don't even know. If, let me see if there's a price on her. 309 Yeah, she might be a possibility for a creepy doll. All right. Whole toddler size. I could probably make her pretty whacked out of her mind. Yeah, maybe we'll grab her too. These are very cool bar stools. If I had my new house already, they'd be going to a breakfast nook. They're pretty, pretty awesome. Um, there's only two of them here. They want $25 a piece for them, but I really like them. They're nice. I want to show you guys. Cool recliner over there too. That actually the whole thing leans back and it's leather. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm almost done, I think, guys. Here's a step-up thing for your pets. It's a, it's a big one. It's uh, 809 Nice shape. Good price for that. But my guys could still jump on the bed just fine. Um, if my Bailey was still alive, I would have had to have gotten that for him uh, when he got sick. But I don't need it. I'm sure somebody will that has a pet. So I'm going to gonna put this spice of life jar back it's 209 it's still a great price I have some at home that that seal is just disintegrating and I don't want to probably cost more to buy the new seal for it um, mm, I don't know no I don't need any more I have a couple at home that's fine I'll just leave that here this is pretty made in Japan nice and um, Okay, I'm almost I'm almost ready for the recap. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, set it to all, comment under the video, and pin to the top of the video. Uh, comments in the video will be a link that is a playlist to all my thrift with me videos. So please check that out too, and please feel free to leave a comment below when I do sell this stuff on my channel. So you can either shoot me an email that's in the description area, or you can come to one of my many shows that I have. All right, almost done. Well, I'm sure these are going to be gone. They're huge, huge remote control. You have a Raptor and a Ford Bronco. They're only $23.99 each. Plus, I'd get a 25% discount. Huge. Um, awesome suspension on them. They are quite large. Let me show you here. They're very big. But I'm sure those will be gone too by the end of the day. I'm going to leave soon. We'll do the cart uh, review in one second, guys. I'm going to put this back. I can make my own. So I'll let somebody else enjoy it. Look at this clock. That's pretty cool. So you'd bracket it against the wall here. That's cool. That is a very neat piece. That is uh, $21.99 for that. So it sticks out like a storefront one. It's neat. Paddington Station, London. Well, here's a nice pickup just before I left. It's a wireless smart meat thermometer. It's called a meter. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, $1.09. And these are going for about $60, $80. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get that too. I'll throw this before the cart review. Cool? All right, guys, here's the cart review. Um, you make your own backup sensor. Something. I'm getting it. Looks interesting. Here is a R2-D2, build your own R2-D2, um, push button LED lights, three audio tracks playing authentic R2-D2 sounds, an illustrated book. I'm going to use the cards for my channel for playing a game, worst case scenario, survival game. Um, I just like this container, it's really cool, it's airtight, I don't know, I thought it was pretty with the little knobbies on it. Um, I'm going to get this sign here. And what else am I going to get? Uh, three of these Fiesta 
Homer Lachlan Fiesta cup and saucer sets. I'm getting a couple tins for somebody that likes the tins. So I'm getting four. Oopsie. I'm getting four tins here. Um, a kitty cat in a basket. Just needs a little touch up. It's very cute. Try right there. Um, I'm getting this whacked out by baby bunting picture. It's like bye baby bunting. The rabbits are gonna get you. <laughs> anyway, um, maybe somebody could use it for something. This is that cool ashtray. Uh, maybe Grand Canyon. It's got the stones all encrusted around it. I just thought it was a cool piece. I'm getting the. Uh, I guess it's a little Afghan. This is a blue sky pottery base to something to one of the designs, one of the burners. Um, I'm getting this witch, the crazy witch, <laughs> getting her, um, I am getting him, I can't help myself, I'm getting him, he will go into the booth for now, I'm trying to make sure he doesn't, I'm going to check him over for more down, he's got little paint loss here and there, but it's no, it's no major deal, uh, he's gorgeous, he's absolutely gorgeous, I love him, um, getting this mirror star, decor there getting a t-shirt for myself it's a lion screaming to, with headphones on I think that's cool because I'm a music person I'm getting this little bag and a stitch ball cap uh, this doll to make a creepy doll with here uh, I think I got all over this miss creepy doll to you uh, two um, wool hats for somebody that I just met at my booth yesterday, so I am uh, getting those for her. This cute spider planter. Look at his face. He's adorable. Maybe these cordon blue molds. So we have a goose or a duck and a bunny. This awesome shell wall pocket. Isn't that gorgeous? And this guy, is he missing another? You know, he's got his ears. Um, that guy for the holidays, the rocking horse. And then if we look under here, I have another creepy doll. Make her into something. And uh, I'm buying three of these. I'm biting the bullet. I'm not waiting for one that has three squares going across in one piece. These are three separate ones. I need something to keep stuff in in the van because when I don't and I get groceries or stuff from here and stuff is loose, it just rolls around in the truck. So I'm going to get those three finally. Um, again, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell, set it to all. Hit that like, leave a comment. And please check out that top pinned comment with the link to all my thrift me videos. Check out some of the older stuff. You'll be amazed at what I found, but I'm loving him. He's awesome. So, and if it still hasn't sold by the time I move, he's coming with and I'll find a place for him. I was hoping he'd be a panther, but that's okay. He could be a tiger. I'm going to check him out, make sure he doesn't have any major damage. Um, until next time, guys, see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, I sell this stuff on my channel too. See you at the next one. Bye, everybody.